Okay, we are back. Um, and I was able to go over back to the base and bring the generators back. So we will have to work. For some reason, I've got a uh, encumbrance problem right now. Let's fix that. That's not good. Um, but yeah, so um, basically, uh, so yeah, I went back, got the two generators, and in this video, we're going to start to organize the base. Uh, that has been an ongoing thing. Uh, we picked up a hammer in the last video, so we can start to use that hammer. It's a pretty good one. Um, but yeah, again, we're just going to start to organize the base a little bit. Actually, I need to get a saw, and we know we got plenty of those. Um, so that you know long term I, I can be uh you know we, we don't have to <clears throat> um we can keep things organized here and you know i've found in the past that when i start to just put things in, and and not organize it you don't know where stuff is and that can actually get you killed it actually can get you killed um if you uh if you don't know where to go you need something quick you don't know where to go, and next thing you know, you've got a problem. So uh, first things first, I'm going to talk about, we're going to, I actually thought this area would be a pretty darn good area to put some crates in here and store some things, um, mainly maybe carpentry stuff. And so that's that's what we're going to do. I'm just going dis to disassemble all of this stuff and um, also uh, disassemble these tables. And I think what I'm going to do is put a crate over here, use all these crates, obviously, for the food storage. Uh, but then also put a crate over here and we'll put the medical supplies, everything over there. Um, speaking of medical, I do want to see if we, if I can get rid of this wound we suffered a couple videos ago. Let's see, this should now be fully healed. And it is, good. So we've, we're, we're fully healed now, that's good. Um, final thing I'm going to do is, we're going to clean these, you know what, I also got to clean these corpses up. This is just, we can't leave this for, you know, we want this to look like a, uh, we'll probably just stick them all over there. Um, and then, uh, again, the, uh, the other final thing I want to do is start to put some, a little, work a little bit on base defense. We're going to put planks on some of these windows. This is kind of too exposed here, so just want to get that, that up. So, um, yeah, and also I'm going to need some food, running low on food, as usual. Do we even have any food? No. Oh, we got some yogurt, which is still fresh. That's good. Okay, so, um, yeah, so we'll start to work on this, and this will be good for long term, like I said. So I think I'm just going to start grabbing these corpses. This is going to be quite a bit of work, but it's I just don't want to leave these things uh, sitting here rotting away. So what we'll do is we'll just, I think I'll just put them over here and pile them up. And then in the future, I'll try to just... We'll just keep this as a big pile of corpses. And uh, it'd be a good place to get the maggots, too. Actually, I shouldn't forget to get those. Well, you know what? Actually, let me. I do want to keep getting those maggots because uh, eventually that's going to be huge for fishing. And I've already collected, you know, quite a few of them. Yeah, so you can see you got nine of them. So just, yeah, these, these actually, it's an easy thing to forget to do, but it's actually very important when you start to fish. I just don't want to carry them on me. <laughs> okay, so uh, this this uh, uh, video will be heavily edited because I don't think you need to watch me pick up every one of these corpses. But uh, when I got some more updates, we'll come back and I'll just uh, we'll see the uh, results. All right, so uh, I've started to pile them up. Oh, look at this. We got a. This is perfect. So I'll just kill all my zombies right on my zombie pile we'll just make a big pile here if we see zombies we'll just pull them here and try to kill them in this general area and then they can become part of the natural framework the natural growth that will occur yeah so again i'm gonna start uh starting the pile here even pulled a few off the road just to clean that up a little bit and we'll just put them all here for now we might burn them eventually we'll see but uh okay okay we are back um and there is the huge zombie pile now, all cleaned up. Nice thing about this is I can scroll through this real quickly. I think I got most of the maggots, but uh, when, they, when the maggots, uh, this is almost like a maggot pile. Think of it like that. I can come over here and just easily get the maggots. Um, but yeah, look at this. All clean now. Got rid of all the zombies. Um, got rid of that big mess. And uh, 
we can start to make this world look a little bit normal. Um, I don't know if I should pull them out of here. I don't know how many are in here. Looks like not many. Um, but yeah, so that's clean. Um, these are nice storage. Uh, you know what I'm thinking? Well, I don't know. Those are good uh, storage containers right there. Um, let me think about that for a moment. moment. Um, but in, in any event, uh, so yeah, we've got this uh, cleaned up up front here. And as you can see that I am very tired now, so I got to take a little bit of a sleep. But yeah, this looks good. Um, and I, I'm going to try to, like, if zombies spawn in this area, I'll just try to pull them over there and we'll just keep that pile going. And, it's, and again, it's a good place to get, uh, you know, it's a good place to get maggots, as you can see here. I've already gotten uh, 10, so we can save that for fishing once we get there, and we will have to get there, but that's definitely a, a good start for maggots. I'd like to get like 100 of them if possible. Um, so the next project is to, again, I'm going to start to work on, where are we in terms of tailoring? I haven't even looked at that in a while. I'm sorry, carpentry. Uh, so we're at 303, and we've got the multi multiplier which is five so i should be able to get that to four pretty good pretty quickly and then maybe set up uh we might actually do set up a couple rain collectors out here just so i don't have to run to the lake every time but i mean we've got the lake obviously and that's huge but i might just set up a, a few rain collectors that are you know in the vicinity a little bit closer in case i'm just being lazy which I'm always lazy, so. All right, well, anyways, uh, I will come back once uh, once we get this room straightened away. Okay, so things are starting to get organized. I was able to build four crates in here, and in doing all the disassembling, yes, we have now leveled up. We now have carpentry level four, which will now give us the rain collectors and thinking about building a few out here, like I said. So um, first crate will contain all electrical supplies. So we're gonna put that here and flashlights, those type of things. I, I think I even got some more in here. Yeah, so we'll keep all the flashlights, everything in here, all the hand torches, uh, everything electrical will go in here. Um, so we'll know where to go. Um, everything metalworking I'm gonna put in here. Everything related to carpentry will go into here. And in here, I'm just gonna temporarily, I'll probably create separate crates for these eventually, but temporarily, I'm gonna just put um, firewood supplies, like matches and scrap wood, and then fishing supplies will go here as well. And finally, um, we've got a, yes, we've got a medical supply. Ah, by the way, I found a sewing kit that is awesome it was actually in my room the whole time it was in one of those cabinets when i was disassembling them so that's really good it has a needle and we can the reason i'm keeping that there is we'll keep the tailoring supplies there too uh because those can be used actually as an emergency uh, if you need a suture and actually i was just thinking i do need to actually get some food so we'll run over here i'm glad i kept this door open and we'll just kind of peek in here i gotta make sure there's no zombies around but we should have a fairly, um, I don't want to say unlimited. Most of this stuff could be rotten. Actually, no, I, there is some stuff here worth taking. Good. So, yeah, I mean, I can just run over here as need be and pull. Was that burritos? Yeah, those are all rotten. We can't eat rotten food. Um, but we can take the stuff that... I feel like I'm hearing something, but I'm not. Um, but we can take some of these supplies and... It's almost an, well, it's not an unlimited supply, that's for certain, but at least for now, um, yeah, we got some canned goods as well. And then there's a whole store of stuff just waiting to be eaten. So uh, that's kind of useful. That is so useful. Actually, this spot, I, I, I think I remember I was telling you guys I didn't like it initially. Uh, I'm starting to like it quite a bit now. So um, yeah, so this organization is going to work real well. I'm thinking about... Like I said, and I, oh, and also I got some planks up, so we're starting to get some defense up. These, this was really exposed, so eventually I'd like to get this fully planked up. Um, and then I'll show you the bedroom. Looks pretty good. I'm going to leave two beds, two bunk beds. Uh, but other than that, um, I put a couple 
couple planks up here just for safety reasons. May eventually build a log wall here to block this hole. I don't know if I'm going to use this back area a whole lot. We'll see. Maybe. We'll see. Um, so, yeah, I'm going to continue on and we'll. Oh, look, we have a zombie. Okay. Come on. He just showed up. Okay. And they do spawn here and there. But, you know, the good news is we've got our zombie pile now to bring him over here. Come on. Come on over to the zombie pile. It's not. I know it's not a great uh, burial spot, but it's going to help me get maggots. And uh, this is a little trick I do like to use to just get maggots. Run over here, you know, and you can sort of just scan through the bodies real quick. See if I think I just saw one. Did I? I always go too fast, but, you know. Yeah, there we go. So, you know, it's just a good way to come over and get maggots. Um, eventually, when they get down to the skeleton phase, you really can't get maggots anymore, but we'll keep pulling them over here. And, and uh, like I said, this actually serves a pretty good purpose, having zombies spawn once in a while, because it's a good way for us to get maggots. We do need maggots uh, for bait when we get to fishing and eventually we'll definitely have to get to fishing it's it's a necessity um and it's sort of very useful because we're so close to um so close to the uh, the water now what i was thinking so i thought more about these cabinets here um and i think i know what i'm going to do um i think what we're going to do i mean this is some really nice storage all these even you know we could utilize these as well but definitely i mean there's 50 storage in here these nice metal containers so what i think i'm going to do it's obviously we don't want to be connected to this room um so what i think i'm going to do is let's shut the door and i'm going to whoops um i'm going to put a sledgehammer through the wall we're going to expand the base out and although this is pretty exposed i'm going to build some log walls along all the way along this way and so we'll expand the base out because this storage is, is really nice i like those big metal containers and also i want to what we'll do eventually is build a doorway to go out here so we can put our campfire out there and it'll all be contained so i think that's that's what we do but let me let me see. I've got the sledgehammer. Let's see. I think this would be a good place. Well, I don't know if that's going to be near the bed or not. Or probably should be right near it, actually. We'll see. Okay, so first I think i got to get rid of this board. Okay. And now... I should be able to poke a hole through here. Yeah. Oh, that's perfect. Oh, you know what? That worked out perfectly. So there's the bed, and I can just come in here. And so what I'll use this for is weapons, maybe here, and this one, and clothes in here. And then we'll keep um, adhesive tape, duct tape, all that stuff here to repair everything up. We'll use these to store all that stuff. And this is starting to come together. And then what I'll do is I don't really think I have use for this entire room right now, so we'll build like a, a log wall that goes like maybe from here to here. So we're, we're, we don't have to worry about zombies, you know, spawning in and coming in and harassing us. So we should now be able to put, so like I said, I'll put my clothes in here, start, put those in there. And we don't need the, this stuff. We'll figure out what to do with that somewhere else. Go inside. Uh, we'll put long denim shorts in there. Um, yeah. And so this is what we'll do. We'll put the beret in there. May just keep that. And um, so in here, we will start to store weapons. Even though I don't have any weapons on me, but we'll start to bring some weapons and put them in there, like the crowbar, that type of stuff. And then in this one, we will start to put our, let's get rid of this. This is gonna work out perfect because what we're gonna do is keep all the duct tape and wood glue, all this stuff that can repair everything up, we'll put it in here. And actually what I'm thinking, I was going to put tools and weapons in here. So that's what we'll do. And again, I'll keep like duct tape, all the stuff that we need to repair up our items right next to it. 
And that way, um, you know, if I know I need to repair something, I can just come here right away. Okay, so I'll go around and uh, gather up everything and we'll come back. Okay, I am back and we've made quite a bit of progress. Um, I've actually got some rain collectors up here now. And this is, again, very useful uh, so that I don't have to go back and forth to the lake. Uh, I mean, we can do that, but it's obviously dangerous every time we do that. So it's good to have maybe a few rain collectors just right out here, which I can use. Actually, you know what? While I'm thinking of it, let me put some planks up right here. And just trying to get the base a little bit more secure. And, you know, I, I think, you know, I'm keeping the zombies away from the building, so... Or at least taking the ones out that come around the building, so... Should be pretty safe, but you never know in the middle of the night. You don't want to have one jump you. So, yeah, everything's looking good. Again, we've got uh, electrical supplies here. I mean, everything is now completely organized. I know where everything's at. Here's the um, metalworking, uh, carpentry. We've got fishing supplies in here and firewood supplies. In here, uh, let me turn on the flashlight. That might be a good idea. Um... So in here, uh, I plan to keep all of the tools. So pipe wrenches, screwdrivers. Uh, we sure do have a lot of saws. I think I mentioned that before. Um, and then over here, I plan on keeping, I don't have any right now, but all, you know, we start getting tire pumps, wheels, extra auto parts, we'll keep over there. We'll start to store those there. And those, those take up a lot of space, so that'd be good. Um, and then, uh, of course, we've got our medical supplies now in here. This will now just store all food. We shouldn't see anything here now except for food. Oh, I did actually put, um, just temporarily, um, put all of the um, farming supplies here and traps. So everything will go, that'll just be temporary. But for now, we'll store those there. And in here, obviously, um, we've got, whoops, keep going the wrong way. I hear somebody. I just heard something. Where, where did that come from? Uh, see, there's still... Oh, we got one. Okay. So we're going to have to secure this, obviously. Um... Oh, gosh. Okay. Really didn't want these guys. Yeah, so we will secure this. And actually, you know what? We're going to do that in the next video. Because I obviously... Yeah. We can't have this. We cannot have this. Actually, I think I'm going to switch to the crowbar. Because we got a problem here. We got quite a few of them. Okay. Better be careful here. And hopefully they come out this way. They love to do that, don't they? All right, let's smash this window. Actually, it kind of worked out, though, because we were able to... Ah, these... No! No, 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 no. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Emergency. Emergency. Last thing we want to do is get bitten in one of these halls. Yeah, but obviously this, I, I think I had talked about this earlier in the video. This is why I do want to secure this area and put up a wall. In fact, we're going to do that in the next video. We're going to work on total, total base defense. We're just going to put up a wall here because this obviously, I knew this was exposed. Uh, but anyways, make long story short, um, so here's all the clothes. Um, here is all the weapons. Um, I had a panic attack because I thought I lost the axe. It's right there. Wow. So, and this is... Further reason I wanted to get the base organized in this episode because now I know where the axe is, and we're not going to even, we're only using the axe to cut down trees because this is the only one I got. The hand axe, I mean, that that can cut down trees, but it, it, it's really just better as a one handed weapon. So, again, we'll, we'll save the axe. I'm going to keep it in here. And uh, this, you know, I, I knew this was exposed, so in the next video, we're going to put up some, some log walls so we don't have that happen again. Um, and yeah, so this is looking good. Um, here's all the tools again. Here's all the clothes. 
And look at all this. I mean, I've collected quite a bit of this stuff, and we've got a lot of supplies now to repair up our tools and everything else. We've got all this tape, which will help with that. So things are looking good. Um, let's do a perimeter check around the building. Just make sure everything's safe. Uh, we've got everything planked up up here. So this is a little bit safer. We'll add more planks eventually. Um, let's just make sure, is it, yeah, see there's there's a couple of them. And this is what, you are gonna get some spawns that will come in, I mean, that's just, that's just the nature of the beast. Um, all right, so let's just do a little bit of a run around here. Make sure we don't have anything too crazy. And the good news is I'll probably be able to just cut all these trees down. I mean, we're really close to the forest, so I can cut those trees down and and I, I might even poke a hole. I probably will actually sledgehammer a hole right through right through here and build. Yeah, we're going to need to do that for the generator. So it just hit me. So this is we're temporarily going to build a little structure out here, a little log walls out here to house our generator. Um, and eventually I want to expand that way out here, but that'll be a long term project. So things are it's not too bad. I mean, there's a couple zombies, but that's to be expected. We can always deal with that. So, got to get somehow. I got to get the ability to hotwire. I already looked in there. I think there's no keys. Well, things are looking good. Like I said, we <clears throat> we've got the base completely organized. And in the next video, we'll start. <coughs> excuse me. Uh, Voices raspy for some reason. Um, in the next video, we will start to work on um, base defenses, and that specifically, we'll get the walls. Um, we'll get the walls up and we'll get the generators hooked up and then we need to go find some fuel. Okay. Well, thanks for watching.